and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Is It Drakes. Bringing this one back, this was a, a pretty popular deck on YouTube. I know y'all y'all liked this deck, so bringing this back here in this best of one day today. Um, we got two more videos here, as y'all know. Uh, not only we're doing best of one because it's best of one day Monday, but also my computer handles it just a little bit better. Um, but there's still, of course, the lag issues. There's um, Today's the last stream, though, hopefully, as long as everything goes right. Tomorrow I'll be building a new PC and then Wednesday, taking the day off, so no stream tomorrow. And then Wednesday we should hopefully have a brand new PC that works really well and hopefully all the issues go away. I know... I know it's been frustrating over the last week or so. The videos have gotten worse. But um, for those of y'all, you know, just kind of, because I get the, the questions all the time. So hopefully that gets fixed. But anyway, back to our deck, Is It Drake's? This is, of course, Is It Drake's because we're playing the Salamander Drake. That's a cool creature type with Terramander. And the Crackling Drake, which is just a regular old Drake. It's not a Salamander Drake. Um, so, you know, like these are our big creatures in the air. That's basically what we have. Huge flying creatures. Mostly this is going to be a 5-5. Five five. Obviously, it's a 1-1 one one right away, but we're going to be adapting it, turning into a 5-5. Five five. This can be a very large X4. Of course, Kefnet's a 4-5, and Niv-Mizzet also a 5-5. Five five. So we're trying to just get these really big flying creatures and then just basically slow the opponent down enough with these removal spells, counter magic, um, doing a little bounce with ether gust and stuff like that, trying to slow the opponent down enough to take over, to be able to win the race in the air. That's, that's kind of the goal of our deck. Um, this, I know these is a decks like, uh, bone crusher giant would be better to play than shock in general. Cause you know, you get to have your bone crusher, you know, you get to do the stomp part and then have a four, three also to have another threat. But we're still going to stick with the shocks because this deck cares about the instants and sorceries with Terramander and Crackling Drake um, caring about those. And I guess this Rao cares about them as well. And I guess niv -Mizzet. well, I guess niv would would trigger off of Stomp anyway. Uh, but so that's that's why we have some of you know, like these, you know, a card like Shock instead of a card like Bone Crusher Giant in here. Um, I have a sideboard over here if you want to play best of three, if you like best of three, but we're just doing best of one today. So, so here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and play some Is It Drakes. We're going to be playing it in standard ranked. It's easy to do it like with, with best of one, it's easy just to play it in ranked, um, cause we can play as many games as we want. We'll be playing seven games with this deck and then we're going to be going over to some historic after this with some Mardu Knights in historic. Yeah, Scorching Dragonfire is a good one. Um, I like how Shock can go upstairs to to help us win races, you know, help add on extra damage with Crackling Drake and Terramander and stuff. But that is true. The Scorching Dragonfire is a pretty good card. I like it. That looks pretty good, Escurio. That looks pretty good. I don't... I don't know if I love the Blast Zone. And maybe not Gadwick. Gadwick doesn't really work with... Fires super well. All right, so I'll I'll go flame sweep now this next turn. Of course, I was planning on going mountain, then going shock terramander. Mm -hmm. 
But of course, both innkeepers already kind of did their job. They both drew a card already. The Gruel version usually doesn't play as many against the Teamer. The Teamer version still also doesn't play as many cards, as many 1-1s. So it's possible they won't be able to attack with Left Struck Beast here. Any land? Uh, not doing a very good job drawing land. <laughs> you always main deck mystical dispute in decks like this, but it might be because it just feels so good when you get the discount. That is true. Countering stuff for one mana is. Pretty amazing. And I am going to be sabotaging this innkeeper very sinisterly. I wouldn't mind a spell being on top where I put it into the graveyard and then we draw a land. Like an instant or sorcery spell. To be able to pump the Terramanders more. Yeah, like that. Yeah, the Sarkin's probably unnecessary in your deck, Oscurio. Yeah, you can definitely. Yeah, the yeah the deck that we're playing right now, you could play pretty budget. So they block one, we pump it, they put the Fae of Wishes back in their hand, discard two cards. Oh, or just bounce. It's fine. Hey, there you go, Suvisak. You went 7-1 with your second ever draft. Good job. Wow. That's a lot of spells. Not very many lands. This should hopefully keep the the five five love struck beast from attacking, and they could they can bounce the terramander, which is what they're probably going to do. But at least they can't kill it with bone crusher giant anymore. So 
they still have three cards there that they're gonna go go to exile if they don't play them. Man, every time I play against this this deck, Escape to the Wilds just looks better and better and better. That card's really, really nice in this deck. Hey, Errol. I've worked my whole life for this. Uh, I'm not gonna let them pick Fave Witches back this up. This is gonna hurt. Oh, wow, what a card. That's just the perfect card that lets them attack with Lovestruck Beast and also draws them millions of cards with all these other adventure creatures. That was the that was the card to, to draw. Ugh. That's probably going to win them the game right there. I can either play two five fives by just play, casting the two Terramanders. I can cast two five fives, or I can play Niv Mizzet. The thing is, if I don't block, we probably lose. These Lovestruck Beasts are so big. Yeah, I think so, Escurio. I think so. Obviously, I'm dead to Bone Crusher Giant. <clears throat> There's only four Bone Crusher Giants in the deck, though. They've seen one so far. I'm just hoping they don't see a second. Oh, where are you going? All right, so they're they're out of brazen borrowers. That's their last brazen borrower. One is exiled for good. One's in the graveyard now. These two over here. Oh, jeez. 
please. It's just all devastating cards. Well, if they draw a brick here, we're actually in a good spot. Of course they don't. Yeah, we're actually probably going to win that if they would have just drawn a brick. We could beat everything that was in their hand. Or, like, in exile, I guess. But obviously, they need to draw... If they drew Bonecrusher Giant... We obviously just died on the spot, but then also they just drew a 1-1. One, one. If they would have drawn a 1-1, one, one, it would have been really difficult for us, too. We would have had to block out. Hey, Pickles. Best of one day Monday is your favorite day? Awesome. And keep this negate up. That's a good one. One mana spell. Wow. That's that was not on my list of cards that I thought they would be playing at all. Like not at all. Are they vandalizing my Terramanders? It's rude. No, you do not need to purchase the anthology cards to make a competitive deck in Historic. Also, the, the Historic cards... They are, they're just like regular cards. You can use WoW cards on them. So like if there's, if there's one specific card that you would like in Historic, you can just use a WoW card on it. There's no Mythics in the set. There's just a couple of rares. So yeah, you don't need to use like the 3000 gems to get all like four of all the cards. <laughs> Can't decide whether you want to watch me or play magic yourself. You don't have like the the dual monitors. Can't do both. The two monitors. Have me on one. Play Arena on the other.
So in case of Domri's ambush, I have the negate here. But I'd like them to play like a you know a paradise druid, something that something that dies to flame sweep. Not a Kral Harpooner. That'd be bad. Yeah, two monitors definitely mandatory. And this age of streaming. Well, they made the goblin a 3 3. That really hurts. Well, that means it's not going to die to my flame sweep now. Okay, you already own most of the pre rotation rare elves. So, yeah, if you want, like, the. Like the other elves that I'm using from historic anthologies, like um, Elvish Visionary is a common. You just use common wild cards to get it. And then the other one, Imperious Perfect, is an uncommon. So you just use uncommon wild cards to get it. Maybe I should have just left the Terramander back to block the Goblin after this. I'm just not outracing them at all. That's the perfect Gruul curve. Pelt Collector into Goblin into Spellbreaker. Yeah, the mono black discard for historic. I think it'd be. I, I honestly think it'd be tougher to play that deck in historic with. The two most popular decks in historic are Gruul and Oko. Those are definitely things that you need to really have in mind, and I think those those would be two decks that. Because like the low cost creatures and everything, I think those would be two decks that would be pretty good against. The mono black discard deck. So obviously that's just completely devastating them having that removal spell. I was I was planning on making the Terramander a five five, but with the spell breaker that was gonna kill that anyway. So I needed I needed to the turn that I flame sweeped, I could not attack with the Terramander. I need to hold it back and then block the Zertal Goblin that, that turn. That was that was my really big mistake in that game. Yeah, elves is elves is definitely a better best of one deck than best of three. In general, people have more sweepers. I 
and best of three, you know, after sideboarding. But, but yeah, against Nexus, you know, like you, you, you want those questing beasts, keep them from, from preventing their damage. We, we played against Nexus a, a couple of times whenever we played it in best of three the other day. The Rural Scions just keep not looking good in this deck. It's basically to, to against like removal heavy decks gives you something to filter through, but we don't like basically ever play against removal heavy decks and it never looks good. Obviously they're gonna have Luxodon. I should have shocked the Hanged Executioner in response. And then they would not have been able to Luxodon. I was just kind of talking. I was I was thinking that I should do that play in my mind while I was talking about the Royal Scions there. It doesn't matter. This is pretty over now. I, I was definitely thinking that. I was like, I need to shock the Sanct Executioner because otherwise they'll, they could Lux it on. Bleh. Um, yes, yeah, so it should be 19. Uh, C boss, we're doing really good. Yep, I'm doing good. Hawkeye's doing good. He still has a little bit of a cold. He got a little bit of the sniffles, but he's doing a lot better than he was a couple of days ago. All right, well, let's see how the Royal Scions does here. Okay, maybe not good. Yeah, best you do see a lot of different decks in best of one. That's definitely true. So I think I can hold on and just flame sweep this next turn. If they have I mean I guess I can't stop um drill bit. That'd be really annoying if they do. Yay, not drill bit. Oh, Gorgon, you're our last opponent? Yes. Yeah, I was just I was just talking about a different thing and and in chat and it it crossed my mind I needed to shock the hanged executioner in response, but I just kinda clicked okay because I was talking and um so that's the thing about just playing and playing and streaming, you don't usually play as good as um but yeah, I, I needed to shock the hanged executioner in response before the the token came out. Kitty Dexterity, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Gets us to our sub goal there. Grass Mutant. Get in there. Okay, so Rotting Regisaur is going to be annoying to deal with. That thing's pretty big. I'm going to just get this Kefnet in play, though. Good chance, you know, so I'm just going to be taking the 7 here. I'm not going to be blocking, but good chance I'm going to try to, like, block with Kefnet and add up with Shock. D 
Discard Spawn of Mayhem, though. That's a great card, so their hand's got to be pretty loaded. Yep, pretty loaded. Royal Science just is never good, I guess. It's just never good. So I saved the op. It, I saved the op until my opponent's turn, so that we got to. Gosh, now this is just going to be a losing play, isn't it? deal with this thing so we got to cast something on their turn if we hit something but they get to just play gutter bones hmm how am I dealing with this gutter bones now so I can I can coil shock kill the rotting regisaur darn my other option was just shock the 7-2 and then chump block the rotting red the other one which meant that they wouldn't be able to put the gutter bones back in their hand, but I wouldn't have I wouldn't I would have no battlefield and you know basically no hand and I have nothing to kill this rotting registrar. And so it would really just be kind of delaying this a turn. There's nothing I can draw. We'd better hope you delay our quest no. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Need two more mana. That's silly gutter bones. I don't know. It's tough choices there. Trying to beat two rotting regisaurs. You know, turn three, seven, six. Turn four, seven, six. That's tough to do with red spells. It's tough to do. Deck hasn't looked particularly amazing. Mardu. Just thinking like light up the stage, we'd want to negate. So Mardu Knights. 
Hey, Tesla, games are going good. We've had a lot more misfortune, though, than our opponents. Our opponents are curving out every game really well against us. That's not so much. Why? Why do we have to keep facing seven sixes? Why? Things are too big. All right, one more, one more game here with Isa Drakes. Yeah, our, our opponents have just been playing two bigger creatures. Whether like the last three times, whether it's like Gruel or Riding Regisaur, Riding more Riding Regisaurs. Play the Swift Water Cliffs first. We can kind of know more about what our opponent's doing before we temple. GG's Muxaxu. Uh, Good games. Jeskai. Usually when people play Jeskai, they're playing Fires of Invention. It's pretty normal. Trust me. You'll thank me later. That's more like it. That's the worst card for us to see though, because of our sinister sabotage. Don't worry, I got this. Yep, Riding Register got us. Oh, right, I can't opt on their turn. <laughs> uh, it's just a mess. Uh, every opponent having really great hands, though. That's just how this league's gone. <laughs> Their hand's too good. They don't even want to discard anything. They just have perfects. All right, we just need to play a different deck. Just getting steamrolled by really, really good hands the whole time. From everybody. Oh well. All right. So is it Drake's looks pretty bad. Uh, the one card in particular that was the worst was the Royal Scions. It's kind of surprisingly, but remember the last time that we played the deck, I was the Royal Scions didn't look good either. And we had three last time, so I took one out for a route. Is it Viceroy? Um, hey, Kalua King. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. So, yeah, I took out one Royal Science because I remember it didn't look so great last time. But this time, there was just a couple of games where, you know, like, we're just trying to stabilize and Royal Scions di didn't help us at all. But, yeah, we didn't, we couldn't stabilize. We couldn't, couldn't handle the aggro decks, couldn't handle the large creatures. Couldn't handle three minutes of fairy. 
That card was a big beating a couple of times. Couldn't handle much. Yeah, I think, yeah, that that could definitely be a way to go is going with Gadwick instead of Royal Scions, Kefnet, stuff like that. I mean, Kefnet just pairs well with, like, these drakes of, like, just giving us another large flyer. But, yeah, I mean, we're I was trying to, like, you know, make the drakes work and stuff. But, yes, going a better way than, than Terramander and Crackling Drake, if you want to make the deck better, would be Gadwick. Um... And then going Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant and going going with the Adventure Spells. The Adventure Spells are just up the power level of the deck. You know, we're trying to play a lot of instants and sorceries because of Terramander and Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake's still pretty good, but yeah, just going, you know, just just if you want to play Is It, the better Is It deck is the Is It Flash. You know, like we played yesterday. This is just a lot better Is It deck. But Wanted to try to make the the Drakes work, but it didn't. That's all right, though. All right. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, though, still hope you learned stuff and still hope you enjoyed the video and hope you hit that like button and leave some comments. I'd appreciate both of those. But either way, thank you so much for watching some Is It Drakes, and I'll see you for the next video.